I'm still pissed at that shrink. Me? Crazy? I should have kept my mouth shut about Freddy moving and keep his clothes changing right in front of me. How was art class? I don't think they liked my painting. They trashed it. Everyone's a critic. weekend. I'm not gonna do nothing all day except watch TV in the living room. Yep, I'm gonna watch TV in the living room because that's what people do on the weekend. They just relax and I'll watch some cartoons and Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I was just going over lines for the school play. It was. Crap. Hey, Valen. Oh, hi. Uh... Hey. Riley. Ignore those a-holes. I normally do. Hey, I'm not sure about tonight. We got some company coming. But, but keep the night free, because, you know, they might not show. Uh, sure. Okay, I guess. What's that? Uh, nothing. It's just Freddy. You got a boyfriend? What? No. Oh, you, you thought that Freddy, uh, no, he's just my phone. Uh, for some strange reason, I gave my phone a name. Kind of quirky, huh? Yeah, I, I gotta go. Oh, uh, okay. Bye. Damn it, Freddy. Hey, anyone want a free phone? It's not stolen, is it? Do I look like a thief? I'll take it. Hey, it's freaking 3G. Hey, I don't want this piece of crap. You want it? Yeah, right. Hey, Rob. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to find a black iPhone lying around? Uh, can't say as I have. Well. If you do, please let me know. <laughs> Will do. What are words? That I wish to have asked of the man we call Shakespeare. For it was he who chose metrical patterns of lines, of unrhymed iambic pentameter. As innovative in his time, <laughs> as time itself. Excuse me, Mr. Pickett. <laughs> Mr. Pickett! Sorry to interrupt. To interrupt is human. To apologize is divine. My lady, please. Yeah, I agree. I, I need to see Fallon Ward. 
In this war, thy presence is but requested by an authority higher than thou. Bring your books. As I was saying, the words and the language are so important. Miss Ward, I am missing something, and I was wondering if you might know anything about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Your phone, it seems, has disappeared. I left it in the clinic, and it's not there. Would you happen to know anything about it? No, sorry. May I have your permission to search your purse? Sure, there, there's nothing in it. Hmm? That's a different phone. Oh. There's really nothing else in there other than some lipstick and some pen. And you were saying... So all of this is over a phone? That's correct. Yesterday, Fallon had it turned on during school hours. Per our student handbook, it was confiscated. It's come to my attention that she took it home without permission and proceeded to bring it back again today. Is this true? No. <clears throat> Not really. But you wouldn't believe me anyway, so why bother? Look, Fallon, if you're being accused of something you didn't do, now is the time to speak up. Okay, yes. I did take him home yesterday, and for that, I'm very sorry. That was wrong. Excuse me, him? It. I meant it. This morning, I left it home, and then when I got to school, it just showed up, and I don't even know how, and then I gave it to this kid, and that was the last I saw of it. your story. Can you explain how it ended up back in your purse? Look, I realize that the girl that got in trouble back there isn't the Fallon that I know. And I know that you're going through a lot, what with the move and your mom being gone and all. So I'm giving you a get out of jail free card just this once, you understand? Thank you. But let it be known that if I'm called back to the principal's office for any reason, you're grounded for a month, okay? Okay. Good. Oh my God. What, are you okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, um, everything's fine. Um, uh, look, Uncle Mike, um, I was thinking that maybe I'd go for a walk, uh, just to reflect on what I did today. All right, well, chow's at six, okay? Hey there. Oh, hi. Um, I don't know if you remember me. I'm Fallon, Cody's granddaughter. Sure, I remember. Can we talk? Here you go. Petey's famous iced tea. Without the ice. <laughs> go ahead, drink up. It's nice and sweet and fresh. Very good. Drink up. I washed my hands, you know. <laughs> Not really, no, I didn't. 
So what's going on? Uh, nothing good. Let's see, my grandfather's in the hospital. Oh. Something about a floozy. My mom's on a submarine. I had to move in with my Uncle Mike. He's nice, but I don't feel like I can talk to him. Yesterday I was hitting the head with a softball. It was Freddie's fault. The principal kept him at school, and I don't know why, but I snuck him home with me. So you took Freddie home with you? Yeah, so this morning I left Freddie in my bedroom and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. He was in your bedroom? Yeah. And what the hell is this Freddy guy doing in your bedroom? He's always with me. How old are you? 16. Do you get undressed in front of this guy? Sure. Why not? We're always together. Well, except obviously in the shower. Does your mom know about this? No way. She says as if I just mention Freddy's name again, she'll take away all my social media devices. That's it? That's it? <laughs> Boy, if I was your mom, Can I'd I finish, be... please? Yeah. So, I left Freddy in my bedroom, and then I get to school, and bam, he's there. Can you believe it? So this chump's following you around. <sighs> Big time. Oh, I'm telling you, the more I hear about this, the less I'm liking this guy. Go on. So, I leave Freddy with these kids that I don't even know. And then second period, I'm pulled out of class by the principal, and guess who shows up again? Better not be this Freddy guy. Yep. So the principal kept him after school, and then I get home, and guess who's there? Don't say it. Freddy. Son of a basket! You know, I know a few guys in Jersey that can take care of this creep. Really? Yeah, no problem. Just tell me what he looks like. Here. Uh, you gotta turn this on. No, that's him. He's my phone. Your phone? Freddy's your phone. Yeah. What did you think I was talking about? Nothing. Nothing. I, no, I knew. I knew this was Freddy. Um, hey, isn't this the phone that I took the batteries out of last year? Yeah. And it still works? Yeah. And out of the blue, it just keeps showing up all over the place. Well, usually my purse. I don't know what to do. Um, okay. Look, I'm just a guy who fixes clocks. I really don't think I'm qualified to give you the guidance that you need. Please, I don't know what to do. Okay, um, look, I really don't think this is a phone problem. What do you mean? Well, mind you, I'm no expert, but I think this is more of a Fallon problem. What? You mean like a mental thing? Hey, Lightfoot, you got my check? <laughs> yeah. Fallon. Hi, Sammy. What are you doing here? Being told I'm crazy. No, that's not what I'm saying. I hate this phone. <laughs>